Let's implement these functions. This is end gate and end goes with the inverter. So I'm going to draw end gate. This is my input C and N is ended with C but N is connected to the inverter. Now the output of the end gate is ORed with D naught. D will go with the inverter. So this is my D and has to be ORed with my end gate. If you want to verify that your answer is correct, you can always find the output function of this circuit. So this is C. This is going to be my N node. So I have C times N node. This is D. At the output of the inverter, I'm going to have D node. This is OR. And output function is going to be C N node OR D node simple. Let's do next one. Example B. This is exclusive OR, but B will be connected to the inverter. So I'm going to draw exclusive OR. A and B goes with the inverter. And the output of Exclusive OR is OR with D. Okay, let's prove that our answer is correct. So this is A, this is B node. I have exclusive OR, I have A, exclusive OR, B node, this is D. So I'm going to have A exclusive or B not or with D. Simple, isn't it? Let's check example C. I have B not, so I'm going to have inverter. This is my B, and I have end function with the bar. This is nothing else, just the NAND. Remember, this is NAND. So, I'm going to have input C. Input A will go with the inverter because I have this short bar over here. This is A. And B is ORed with the NAND gate. Okay, this is NAND gate. Okay. And this is the answer for example C. Let's prove that this is right solution. So I have B. This is going to be my B node. This is C. This is A node. Output of the NAND gate is C. A node not and the final answer is B not or C A not not. This is my solution.